doing today. I, I had a very interesting visit last night. Very interesting. And I cannot believe it myself, but it happened. <laughs> I, I think as I was going to sleep, I saw the geometric shapes coming in. And so I watched it for a while and nothing was going on. So I just went to sleep. And then I woke up, I was on my back, looking straight up. I'm not lying. I am not creative enough to tell you what I seen. I'm in shock myself. Let's just say that. And I don't blame you for not believing me because it's way out there. Way out there. <laughs> But trust me as your friend that I'm not lying or making this up. So, here goes nothing. So I wake up on my back. I'm staring straight up at the ceiling. Lo and behold, this being is floating over my bed. And he looks at me. And then what was on top of his head was a crown. I kid you not. It was a full crown. It wasn't a little bit, little one. It's kind of the size of the men's crowns that they wear nowadays. It didn't have a material top to it. I hope you know what I mean by that. It's what King Charles and Camilla wore on their coronation day. The middle of it, the top middle, is like a material. Well, this was just the uh, metal or gold. I'm sure it was gold. And it came up to points. As he was floating over me, I said, oh my God, that's a crown. <laughs> and he kept going. And I said, no, come back, because he was going out my wall. I said, no, please come back. He didn't. And so I'm looking around the room. And every now and then I see eyes. One was the almond-shaped eyes. I'm sorry, I had to sit down. And my bed doesn't look that bad today. But anyway... I saw almond shaped eyes and it kind of was a come and go of those. And then I'm trying to focus. Remember me talking about how I am practicing with my eyes in the past. It was orbs and I seen orbs all the time. I haven't really tried to go in la la land that often anymore, but I'm pretty sure if I continued, I would be still seeing orbs more than I have been lately. I still see them. Um, but remember how I said I can do my eyes a specific way. Not the La La Land way. A whole different way. I've been really working on that. And I feel that's how I'm seeing the beings during the day. Um, so I was doing that around the room. I would kind of look around. And I'm 100% I'm sure my intuition was like, here here because everywhere I looked and paused and did that with my eyes I seen eyes I seen other beings either walking by or floating I'm not sure I want to say all of them float but you've seen like uh, Lord of the Rings the elves in the movie the good elves the Liv Taylor elves they had headbands with stone in the middle and I seen a lot of entities going on by with those headbands on. And I'm like, I already seen one in the beginning of my awakening. I have to get you at the right height because I, I don't like it when my head's cut off or, you know, right to here. But anyway, during my awakening, when I had talked about, um, I wanted to go home, not here home, their home. And I cried myself to sleep because bad things are happening to me. And I begged them to come and get me and take me home. And that night, a being came to me with a headband. And they were, I want to say it was a she. And they kept gripping my arm. That was the first time. And last night was the second time. And I'm, I'm saying, I've seen a few of them. And for some reason, I feel that every entity in the room last night were male. But I'm not 100%. And some, as I said, were floating over me like the king was. And 
I kept thinking royalty, royalty. And don't forget that I almost saw my queen mother at one point. And this leads me to believe that I have a royalty lineage. I, I can almost believe that completely. The part of me that doesn't is my kind of like an earth negative, if you want to call it negative, um, thoughts. Who am I to be royalty? You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm continuing looking around. I'm seeing things. And I look, I'm sitting up, by the way. I actually sat up and I cannot remember if I said, I'm fixing to sit up. Don't go. Don't leave. I cannot remember. But this is what happened next. So as I'm sitting up, somehow, I don't know how, I had a cup on the right-hand side of me. It fell. And I have a plug-in strip, you know, for plug-ins. Wow, I don't know if you heard that or not. But anyway, it was a strip of plug-ins. My drink fell over. Luckily, the liquid didn't go over in the plug-in slots. So I said, shit. And my thought was, they're going to leave now. And I find a washcloth, and I, I'm i still in bed. I found the washcloth on the bed. I don't know how it got there. But I kind of soaked it up. I picked my cup up, and I sat back up looking. They were still there. <laughs> and I'm like, well, okay. Um, so I look to my right, and I'm focusing. And I'm just staring. And I see eyes. These eyes were staring back at me. And they were male eyes and they were big. They were bigger than ours. I cannot tell you how big they were, but they're big. And his eyes weren't creepy. They looked like they were scared. And I felt bad for this entity. And then, the, I don't know if I even said, the geometric shapes were a teal. And so there was teal smoke also in there. It's kind of mixed around. Well, I seen through the shapes and through the smoke and I saw those eyes. And then the smoke would override that. And then the eyes would come back and he was looking at me and it looked like, don't scream, don't scream, is my first impression. And I'm sitting here thinking, oh my God. Oh my God. That's all I kept saying was, wow. And I told them that I loved them. I told them, thank you for coming to see me. And I'm ecstatic. It was beautiful. I want to say I see more than one set of eyes other than the almond eyes, but I'm not sure because the ones I saw with the headbands with the stones, I was focused on that, not their eyes. Because I want to say I saw another entity with a smaller crown. Because I kept, that's what kept me thinking royalty, royalty. Oh my God, royalty. And I am thinking I'm piecing this right together. That the spinning and motion of the geometric shapes are what flow the entities around, whether it be in the room, out of the room. And the ones that are out of the geometric shapes that are in the smoke don't. They are able to stay in one spot. That is what I'm figuring out. And I hope I'm right on that because I'm still trying to figure this out. I'm like, Nowadays, this past week, I think it's been a week, oh, I'm truly blessed. I think about it all the time. I feel like my visits have grown. And I think now they're testing me to see if I seen them, I wouldn't scream. I've been telling them I'm not afraid. I'm not going to sit here and scream because I see odd looking individuals. Once again, it's very hard for me to stay awake when my sleeping pills are kicking in. And I want to say things kind of slowed down. And I remember saying, I'm going to go ahead and lay down and go back to sleep. And I did. 
I, I think I apologized. I can't remember. Um, but these sleeping pills are extremely, extremely strong. Also, it just hit me last night, yesterday, I should say, just yesterday, I had a pinched nerve. And it was causing some pain. And in the shower, I had to relax my leg where the nerve pain was and kind of lean over because it was more comfortable. Um, arching my back to rinse the shampoo and conditioner out of my hair hurt. And if I stood up straight, it hurt. And so when I got the shower, I took some anti-inflammatory pills prescription. And um, I was hoping that today they, it would be gone. Because my nerve pain like that, it, it happens often. And it's very painful. So when all this was going on last night, I remember crossing it crossing my mind and said, could you please heal this part of my, my nerve pain? I have a nerve being pinched. And I just realized I'm not in pain today. And I will say that every time that nerve has been pinched in the past, it would be up to a week, maybe a tad bit more for the pain to go away. It took that long because it was so severe. But it's gone today. And thank you. Whoever did it. <laughs> thank you. So part of me wants to kind of touch on something today that continues to open my eyes a little bit. Um, I wanted to go somewhere. And as you know, my daughter has my car. And I'm carless because I lost my Durango. But I wanted to go somewhere. And usually she's awake in the mornings. And I text her and said, are you awake? And she didn't reply until later. And she goes, did you need anything? And I said, well, I wanted to go look for plants, but no big deal. And nothing. That kind of hurt my feelings. And I have three daughters. And you don't know them. <laughs> so, if any of them are watching, your name is not mentioned. And I have three daughters. They're not going to, well, they don't know which daughter I'm talking about. Even though I said, you have my car. I really wanted to get out of the house today. I've been thinking of going for a walk. And I even looked on my weather app. And it's not too cold. And the park is not too far. Um... It's odd for me to think this way. When I start thinking about going, I'm like, what is the point? I don't understand the point of going. Why would I do that? And I cannot come up with an answer. Um, only thing I can think of is I'll be in the sun and outside and I'll feel better. But I could do that in the park. I think that having my car going places would be therapeutic but i don't know where to go except for the park but then i'd be parked and just sitting there you know i have gps on my phone i have always been afraid to get lost i saw an orb um i will let you know while i'm editing that there's an orb before it even shows that way you can see it i'm glad the orbs are back and i still hope they accumulate more and more um they made me happy. They made me so happy. I will say that even though I don't see them as often as I had in the past, I still know they're there. Although I wish that I seen them all the time. I don't know if I worded all that right. I think I said that twice, but I'm sorry. I'm feeling a little off today, emotionally. And I'm not sure which emotion that is off. It's not a good feeling. I'm not depressed or sad or anything today. I feel lost. That's the word that has just come to me. I feel lost and confused. And I wish that I had the option to sleep. No, I wish I had the option to see these beings 24-7. Uh, maybe one day. I had to keep working at it. A part of me wants to meditate. And I did the other day. And I'm like. My mind. Was like doing this. And I had to keep saying to myself. Quiet your mind.
quiet in your mind. Stop thinking. Because my mind just won't shut down lately. I have so many things in my head that I need to fix and change. I so much want my YouTube to grow and it has slowed down again. And I just don't know how to keep it going and raise the watch time and the subscribers. I'm not a professional. I'm better than what I was when I first started, but I feel like once all that is done and I got a stream of money coming in, I know without a doubt for a fact that me traveling will help my mental health greatly. I feel it. I don't know how I feel it, but I do. I don't want to travel until I'm old, in which I'm almost there. But maybe for a year, maybe I, maybe just for a year, I want to travel. So guys, I am out of things to say. I love you. And I hope really that you believed me in what I seen last night. I really hope that because I would not lie to you. And again, I don't know how to make this up. Why would I say that a king was flowing over me? But anyway, I love you guys. I'm going to end it here and I'm going to send all of you love, light, and peace. Bye. I